The intent of this video is to provide rationale for the premise that the B-29 bombing campaign targeting the Japanese aircraft industry was responsible for saving around 90 Allied ships from kamikaze attacks. The starting point of this discussion came from this text snippet from a September 1945 declassified assistant chief of the air staff document titled Impact Air Victory Over Japan. The 20th Army Air Force B-29 bombers dropped 15,000 tons of bombs on the Japanese aircraft industry during World War II. The Japanese were denied around 6,400 to 7,200 planes through July 1945. This value does not include the 969 planes that were destroyed by B-29s in air-to-air -air combat, or the 200 or so destroyed on the ground, or the effects of bombing the Kyushu Kamikaze airfields. The report goes on to speculate that if these planes were deployed as Kamikaze strike aircraft during the Okinawan campaign, it might have delayed the end date of the war. The video will estimate the impact to U.S. naval shipping had these 6,800 units been available for Japanese kamikaze sorties during the Okinawan campaign. This map from a November 1944 SINPAC information bulletin titled Okinawa and Gunto lists the distances from Okinawa to various other locations. This map details the principal installations on the island. Let's first summarize the effect 21st Bomber Command's bombing campaign had on Japanese aircraft production. 37% of Japan's aircraft industry was destroyed or badly damaged due to the B-29 bombing, as shown on this tabular data chart outlining Bomber Command's industrial target list. The aircraft industry is listed as priority target number one. This graph from a May 1946 the United States Strategic Bombing Survey report titled Effects of Surface Bombardment on Japanese War Potential in Closure K outlines Japan's aircraft and aircraft component outputs during the war years. The x-axis is the month and year from 1941 through 1945. The y-axis is the number of units produced. The lines in the body of the chart represent units of propellers, engines, all aircraft, and combat aircraft produced. The B-29 aircraft industry bombing campaign started in November 1944 and continued throughout the war, as shown in this shaded region. Overall, aircraft production dropped by 79% from peak levels. This chart from an April 1945 U.S. Fleet Headquarters of the Commander-in-Chief document titled Anti-Aircraft Action Summary Suicide Attacks compares the combat effectiveness of a conventional naval aircraft attack with a kamikaze attack. Kamikaze attacks are very effective from the Japanese perspective. The tables below are the results of an operational study comparing two shipping attacks by kamikaze aircraft alone and conventional bombing and torpedo aircraft mix. Table 1, Bombing and Torpedo Attacks. 300 Japanese aircraft sorties to attack U.S. naval ships. 180 are shot down by the combat air patrol, or 60%. Another 40 are lost from shipborne anti-aircraft fire. Only 12 of the plane's bombs or torpedoes will strike a ship or cause a damaging miss on a ship. Each Japanese plane sent will have a 4% chance of their bombs or torpedoes hitting a ship or causing a damaging miss. Table 2 represents the results of a kamikaze attack. 60 kamikaze aircraft were sortied. 36 were shot down by the combat air patrol. 12 were lost to the ship's anti-aircraft guns. 12 kamikaze aircraft struck ships. The math implies 20% of the sorted kamikaze aircraft will score ship hits. Kamikaze attacks are five times more effective in obtaining hits as conventional attacks. The report goes on to state that an anti-aircraft kill is defined as either the kamikaze aircraft is destroyed or deflected during its course such that it does not hit the ship. If the plane crashes into the ship, the ship's gunnery crew cannot claim a kill regardless of the plane's damage. The most damaging attacks have been crash dives of aircraft into ships. As discussed in this May 1945 Commander-in-Chief Pacific Fleet Headquarters Bulletin document titled Suicide Weapons and Tactics, Know Your Enemy. A fuel and bomb loaded kamikaze aircraft is more destructive than conventional aerial bombs. Kamikaze pilots are for the most part not well trained. They also seem to be immune and do not react to anti-aircraft fire. The kamikaze pilot can make course corrections during their attack run that ordinary bombs and torpedoes cannot. Coordinated kamikaze attacks are more effective as less naval guns can be brought to bear. 
This chart summarizes the flying experience measured in hours for both the IJN and IJA pilots as the war progressed from a July 1946 United States Strategic Bombing Survey report titled Japanese Air Power at the time of the Okinawan campaign As defined in this time sliver column, the experience level is but a fraction of the start of the war. The quantity of both the Japanese combat aircraft and kamikaze aircraft is shown in this graph. The drop in both tactical aircraft and kamikaze aircraft was due to the aircraft attrition that occurred during the Okinawan campaign. At the war's end, the Japanese had 5,600 tactical aircraft and another 5,800 dedicated kamikaze aircraft available. This table lists the quantity of Japanese aircraft lost during the Okinawan campaign. 1,900 kamikaze aircraft were destroyed. 25 ships were sunk by kamikaze aircraft. The Japanese kamikaze struck 182 ships and another 97 were damaged by kamikaze near misses. This table compares the kamikaze attacks from the Philippine with the Okinawan campaign. The kamikaze pilots were scoring more percentage of hits on ships in the earlier Philippines campaign. This discrepancy is due to both the reduced training level of the Japanese pilots during the latter Okinawan sorties and the U.S. Navy upgrading its anti-aircraft defenses and tactics. Kamikaze sorties were 27% effective during the Philippines campaign, whereas only 14.7% of kamikaze sorties were effective during the Okinawan campaign. So what would have been the impact if the Japanese had sortied an additional 6,800 kamikaze aircraft on top of the 1,900 deployed kamikaze aircraft during the Okinawan campaign? The results are tabulated in this table. The first column is the kamikaze effect. The second column is the Okinawan actuals from the data shown earlier. The third column is a percent kamikaze aircraft that, that either hit a ship near misdamaged or sunk a ship from the Okinawan battle actuals. The fourth column represents the results if an additional 6,800 kamikaze aircraft were available during the Okinawan campaign using Okinawa percent actuals. The last column would be the results if 8,700 kamikaze planes sortied in lieu of the 1,900 actuals. The extra 6,800 kamikazes would likely strike 651 ships, cost 347 damaging near hits, and sink 89 ships. Although the numbers vary depending on the source, the United States Naval Institute indicates 1,321 ships took part in the Okinawan invasion. Sinking an additional 89 ships and hitting another 998 with non-sinking hits or damaging near misses would likely be considered detrimental to continuing the invasion campaign. Lastly, a Japanese lieutenant colonel intelligence officer listed the reasons why Japan resorted to kamikazes, as shown on this page from a 1946 document titled Interrogation of Japanese Industrial, Military, and Civil Leaders in World War II. The reasons included the Japanese air arm could not compete against the U.S. air arm in air-to-air combat. Kamikaze attacks were more accurate and deadly due to the plane and fuel adding to the impact damage. Kamikaze attacks increased Japanese morale of ground units and the public. They were the only viable attacks that worked given pilot experience and equipment available. In summary, it seems reasonable that had the 6800 aircraft been available for kamikaze sorties, the Okinawan campaign may have turned out quite differently. Not sure it would have delayed the end of the war though. Let me know if you agree with the air staff document premise and if you've enjoyed the video please consider engaging by liking the video and or subscribing to the channel World War II U.S. Bombers.